much. You guys supported me so much. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. This entire year, I've been focused on training, coming back, and I wanted to make history. I was on a mission to make history, to be the first two-division Olympia champion ever, number 18 Mr. Olympia of all time, and we did it, guys. We did it! Derek, when you say we, everybody knows that even though bodybuilding is an individual sport, it's anything but. You've got a great team around you. I'm sure there's a few people you want to thank here tonight. Absolutely. I can't walk off the stage without thanking many people. So first and foremost, I want to thank my wife. She's the backbone to all of this. And if it wasn't for her, I couldn't be where I'm at today. I promise you that. So much that she does for me. And, uh... I'm just thankful that we, you know, have God in our lives and I, you know, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he is, that is the purpose for this calling he's given me. And I pray every day that this becomes more and more a Christ-centered community and bodybuilding. And yeah, let's go. Come on. And getting the People's Champ Award, guys, thank you so much for that, but Connie Rambod, I could not do this without you, man. Oh my gosh, you literally revolutionized me. You, you turned my completely, you turned my my career completely around. I was going backwards, and now, you know, you you brought the best out of me and my competition. Like I said at the press conference, we don't need to do this, guys. It's there's camaraderie in this sport, and we all support each other to make to be our best. There's the one. Man, you're just winning all over the place, aren't you? I tell you, you know what's pretty cool, Derek? Nobody's left. They're all here, man. All the fans have stayed to hear what you got to say and to celebrate this moment with you, too. You're, dude, you're Mr. Olympia. We did it, guys. I don't even know what else to say. I'm so thankful for all you guys' support. It's a packed house. Like you said, everybody's still here. I'm just, listen, I'm just a guy from Indiana, some kid from Indiana that didn't know what he was going to do with his life. He found the gym and fell in love with it, and here we are, making history, two first two-division Olympia champion. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Well, Derek, congratulations. Did you get the check? Did you find the check? Not yet. Not yet. Where's Honey Rambon? Where is Honey Rambon? He's probably back at the gym training people already. That's Howdy. We'll find him in a few minutes, sir. But listen, let's take this moment to celebrate. You are number 18. As you mentioned, you are the first two-time Olympia champ in two different divisions in history. The people's champ here tonight and soon to be proud father, my friend. Your greatest title that you'll ever have. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 Mr. Olympia, Derek Lutzberg. Well, ain't that something, Ryan, huh? I only took nine attempts. <laughs> hey, you know what? Ninth time is the charm, but I guess it feels real good to finally be in this winter circle. You've been at it a long time. The UK's best. You took a little bit of time off, not too much time, but you came back strong. And I think people can see this coming. Uh, thank you so much. I've uh, put a lot into this year, trying to improve this back. I got feedback at uh, last Olympia saying, you've got to the front, you're just lacking in the back. We've had a really, really, really tough year trying to bring it up. And like we've done that, so it's paid off. Well, you always had the physique, but it, I got to emphasize the uh, the posing. It seemed to increase just a, a few tweaks here and there, uh, and a, just a few pointers that were given to you, and it really made a huge difference in your physique in those tight comparisons. Yeah, I've got to admit, there was something I should have reached out to a few years ago, but I just kind of self-taught, did it myself, and, and this year I thought I wanted to leave no stone unturned, and posing has been, yeah, a slight weak point of mine, so I really wanted to correct that this year. And, well, we did that, definitely. Well, little things make the difference, Ryan. Here you are in, in the center circle at the end of the night and after a nine-year journey, my friend. I'm going to say we placed eighth, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, and first now. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, enjoy every single minute of it. You deserve it. Ryan Terry, your 2023 Olympia champion. So awesome. And the title goes... Here we are, Chris.
talked about it last year, we talked about it this year. We've done many, many interviews throughout the entire season. The stride for five is finally done, my friend. Five-time Olympia champion, folks. How's it feel, Chris? Does it get sweeter every time? <laughs> it's hard to say sweeter because they're all special. But this one's really, really special, yeah. Anyone close to me knows how special this one is. And I mean, this prep was fun. It was interesting. I've had a mantra every prep I've gone through. The last year was from a friend Zach. It was about no quit. This year, I wanted to add to my champion mentality concept. And I told myself that I wasn't going to numb out my emotions, suppress everything I felt just to win another Olympia. And I'd rather experience this whole process and do that. Yeah. Life really tested me when I said that. And I was going through some shit being this prep, some personal shit. And I started to shut down. And my body started to shut down. And I honestly tore my lat like 10 weeks out. And I was like, even close that. And then it was like no training for a while. And it was shit. And it was falling apart. But I told myself I was going to feel it. And I was going to lean on the people I love. And I wasn't going to be alone through all that. And I remember when I tore my high at the gym, I, I called my fiance. I called Tony. I called my parents. It's like my sister, Ian. And I cried. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this. And, that was one of those things where leaning on people I love, they, they both they all looked at me and they're like, you don't have to do this. I will love you no matter what you do, but we believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. And that, like, that filled me up with courage to keep going, keep pushing. And then, like, I remember probably four weeks after that, I had my first, like, real back workout where I could train through the pain. I had a good workout. I remember lying in the gym floor. I got into a private gym now. I remember crying again, and this time it was in gratitude. And I realized I not only would have felt that much joy and gratitude if I hadn't quit, but I also wouldn't have felt it if I had numbed everything up until that point. Because when you numb the bad, you numb the good. And I, I don't share this for pity or to make it seem like it was a hard prep, but the end was beautiful. I enjoyed the entire end of this prep. I just share this because I want people to know that life's up and down. It's about having no quit, but not giving up on yourself, but leaning on the people you love, enjoying the goddamn journey and just being along for the experience. So thank you guys so much for this experience. The past five years of my life, the past 10 years of competing, I've been some of the greatest, made some of the greatest relationships I can imagine. The support from all you guys, the love from the lead, Big Steve, he's smiling in there, Jim, Debbie, everyone, Dan Solomon out here. I just thank you guys so much for this beautiful thing. And my team, Honey, I couldn't do this without you. Courtney, my fiance, I love you so much. You're the strength behind me. My mom, my dad, Maddie, Calvin, boys, everybody. I effing love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful to be up here. So thank you guys so much for everything. Let's enjoy the night. Let's have a fucking good time. So thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Flex Wheeler. Thank you for having me. Thanks, thumbs up. That's all for it. But I'm just going to let you enjoy this moment, my friend. So no questions about the future. No question whether c bumps staying or going. Just enjoy being your five-time Olympia champion, my friend. The most popular man on the planet, folks, when it comes to bodybuilding, Seabum, five-time champion. <laughs>